Hey all, my name is Ram Ramadurgan. I'm part of Microsoft Platform Engineering team that manages internal Microsoft SAP systems and ships products and features for SAP customers on Azure. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the new provider type called SAP NetWeaver. This will enable SAP on Azure customers to monitor SAP workload. I will go through how we collect the NetWeaver metrics, prerequisite steps to be performed in SAP to enable this feature, and finally, how to add this new our provider in Azure portal. Let's get started with how we collect the NetWeaver metrics. The SAP Start service provides basic management services, including monitoring for SAP systems, instances, and server processes. These services include monitoring the instance uh, process availability, SAP NQ server, and SAP NQ replication and work process status, etc. These services are exposed as SOAP web methods by a web service interface called SAP Control and used by SAP monitoring tools like SAP MMC, SAP MC, and NetWeaver Administrator. SAP starts a bind set HTTP or HTTPS port uh, with a, a port number starts with five, followed by the instance number 13 or 14, depending on which port. The web service interface can be implemented via the visual interface definition, and this can be obtained from the URL. Uh, like HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash host and port name combination. Uh, I will be providing the example visual URL in the description of this video. The visual URL is used to generate a client proxy in web service enabled programming environments like .NET Python. Now let's get on to uh, the prerequisite steps to be performed in SAP. The SAP control web service interface of SAP starts of differentiates between protected and unprotected web methods. Protected methods are executed only after successful user authentication. This is not required for unprotected methods. So we request customers to unprotect few web methods in order for this provider type to work. Log on to your SAP system, uh, type RZ10 transaction code, and hit enter. Search for the parameter service protected web methods. This profile parameter determines what methods are protected. It can have two different default values, default or as default. Proceed with the below command uh, that unprotects four methods. After you have changed the parameter, you have to restart the SAP start service. If your SAP system runs on Windows, log in with SID ADM user to OS open SAP MMC, navigate to console root SAP systems, right click on SID, all task, restart service. If your system runs on Unix, log in with SAD ADM user to OS, navigate to the folder uh, called exe, use the highlighted command in the slide to restart SAP control service. Let's get started on adding the provider um, in Azure portal. There are two ways customers can add NetWeaver provider type and depends on if customers already on AMS or not. If you are installing AMS for the first time, uh, I would recommend to watch videos on enabling AMS and SAP on Azure YouTube channel, and enabling AMS takes few parameters, two clicks, and less than a minute. I'm leveraging uh, the AMS that's already created. Let's click on uh, the AMS framework that was created already. So this page launches um, the uh, overview page with where this AMS is created under the resource group, VNet and subnet combination, including the location. So for us to add the new provider types, click on providers under the settings tab. This launches a page that shows all the providers that were already added to this AMS. Now click on add. This launches a wizard where we uh, choose the uh, new provider types. AMS already shipped with other uh, provider types like SAP HANA, High Availability Cluster, Microsoft SQL Server, OS, and SAP NetWeaver. So we choose SAP NetWeaver, and then we would give them a name, SAP on Azure Demo. The following parameters about um, host name and instance number are the details about your SAP that you want to monitor. 
so this can be your primary application server or a secondary application server or including the central instance. So it can be any one of those. Uh, this either accepts the host name alias or IP address. I'm going with the IP address right now. And instance number. Adding subdomain is one of the critical aspect. If uh, your collector VM is not sub uh, domain joint, I would highly recommend go with this option of yes. So you could add uh, the subdomain, the fully qualified domain name. For this demo purpose, I'm going with no. And then I would name um, SID like SCP on Azure demo. And click on create. There you go. Um, this process successfully created a provider type. In order for us to uh, see the monitoring data, click on uh, the link um, on the provider type, and this gets you into the dashboard view, which we call workbook. It shows the metrics that were collected by the monitor that we just added. The overview page shows the current instance availability and trend over the last 15 minutes. Uh, the good part of this dashboard is you can add all of uh, your SAP um, dashboard that you could monitor together collectively. You could see uh, the SAP availability trend for the past 48 hours uh, by selecting the time frame that or uh, time range uh, that you wanted to monitor your systems, uh, including the custom uh, time range. You could also see other uh, tabs that shows the metrics on the NQ server. Dispatcher, work process utilization, etc. This default dashboard is created for customers by Microsoft. If customers want to add or update the dashboard, they can do it as or uh, the NetViewer metrics are available in customer's log analytics workspace. They can also create custom alerts. That concludes uh, the demo. Um, if you have any questions, feedbacks, uh, please uh, reach out to us.